I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the pignut hickory. Pignut hickory, Caria glabra, is a common species in the oak hickory forest in the eastern United States. Other common names are pignut, sweet pignut, coast pignut hickory, smooth bark hickory, swamp hickory, and broom hickory, a lot of different common names. Pignut hickory is one of nine hickories that are native to Kentucky. It is a slow growing deciduous tree that grows 65 to 95 feet tall and somewhere between 11 and 40 inches in diameter. However, on favorable sites, it can grow up to 140 feet tall. The fruit is a valuable wildlife food and the wood is used in a variety of products. And as of 2019, pignut hickory had the fifth highest volume of timber removed from Kentucky's forest. Pignut hickory is native to the eastern and part of central United States. It is the most commonly found hickory in the Appalachian Forest and reaches its greatest abundance in the Ohio River Basin. Pignut hickory grows best on well-drained acidic soils in full sun or part shade. It's also quite drought tolerant and will grow well in sandy and clay soils. The hickories as a group are classed as intermediate and shade tolerant. However, pignut hickory has been classed as intolerant in the north and somewhat more tolerant um, in the southeast. Pignut hickory is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are compound in form, which means each leaf is made up of several leaflets. The leaves are 8 to 12 inches long, with usually five pinnately compound leaflets. Sometimes there are seven. The number of leaflets is usually the easiest way to tell one hickory from the other. You also notice that the, two, the lowest two leaflets are about one-third the size of the upper leaflets. The leaflets have serrated margins and they're green above and pale below. And the leaf rachis or stem is smooth and without hairs. And the fall color is an attractive golden yellow. Pignut hickory is monoecious, which means the tree will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are yellow green catkins that are typically two to three inches long. And the female flowers are in two to five flower spikes. The female flowers are on the right. Both bloom in the spring with male flowers typically emerging before the female flowers, and these flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit of pignut is a hard pear-shaped nut, which is usually one to two inches long. It has a relatively thin husk, which is green until it matures, then it turns brown to brownish black when it ripens somewhere between September and November. The husk dries, and as it matures, it splits away from the nut only about halfway to the base, and it splits along the four valves, and you can see those valves in the photo. The nut contains a small kernel that is somewhat bitter. Trees begin producing seeds somewhere around 30 years of age, with best seed production between 75 and 200 years. Good seed crops occur every year or two with light crops in the other years. Frost can seriously hinder seed production and crops may also be reduced by seed eating birds and mammals. The nuts are dispersed mainly by gravity, but the range of seeding is extended by squirrels and chipmunks. Pignut hickory, like other hickories, is an important wildlife tree. The nuts are relished by several species of squirrel and represent an estimated 10 to 25% of their diet, and they make up about 5 to 10% of eastern chipmunks' diet. Larger mammals, including black bear, fox, rabbit, and raccoon, also eat the nuts. The nuts and flowers are eaten by game birds like wild turkey, wood duck, northern bobwhite, and several species of non-game birds such as the white-breasted nuthatch, blue jay, red-bellied woodpecker, and yellow-bellied sapsucker. White-tailed deer occasionally browse hickory leaves, twigs, and nuts. The bark of pignut hickory is initially smooth and light gray, soon developing scaly ridges. The bark on older trees has close interlacing shaggy-topped ridges. Pignut hickory is one of the hickories that is referred to as smooth bark as, com as compared to like shag bark hickory. The wood of hickory is famously heavy and tough yet flexible and shock resistant. The heartwood tends to be light to medium brown, sometimes with a reddish hue, and the sapwood is a pale yellow to brown. Calico hickory, as it's sometimes marketed, are boards that have contrasting heartwood and sapwood. The grain is mostly straight, though sometimes it may have a little bit of a wave. Hickory is considered one of the hardest and strongest woods native to the United States. The wood is often used in sporting goods, flooring, and for tool handles because it's flexible and shock resistant. 
Hickory wood also has a very high thermal energy content when burned and is sometimes used as fuel wood for stoves. Additionally, it's also used as charcoal in cooking meat with the smoke imparting additional flavor to the food. The wood's also used for smaller specialty carved items. The National Champion Pignut Hickory is in Glen, Georgia, and it's 227 inches in circumference, 73 feet tall, with a 93-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion Pignut Hickory is in Allen County. It's 168 inches in circumference, 148 feet tall, with a 73-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree Register or go to the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about pignut hickory. Hickory, or the Caria group, is almost an exclusively North American genus. The hickories of Europe have been extinct since the last ice age, and there's only one species found in China. More than 100 insects have been reported to infest hickory trees and their wood products, but only a few cause death or severe damage. And the Index of Plant Diseases in the U.S. lists 133 fungi and 10 other causes of diseases on Caria species. Hogs would eat the bitter nuts, which aren't especially tasty to humans, so early U.S. settlers gave this tree the common name of pignut hickory. Another common name, broom hickory, comes from early settlers as well. They would split the small saplings to make brooms. The wood was used for wagon wheels and sulkies for harness horses. It was also used to make automobile parts in the early days of that industry. The genus name Caria is from the Greek, and the name um, is applied to the walnut tree, and the species name Glabra is Latin and means lacking hair or smooth, and refers to the foliage of the tree. Thanks for joining me to learn about one of our native hickories. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the picturesque pignut hickory.